In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can hack your productivity and build the best to-do list you ever had. Let's go! Hey guys, I'm Toby from Automators HQ and today I want to show you how you can build a to-do list using Airtable. First, we need to create a new base. So we click Add New Base and start from scratch. We name our new base to do, give it this bright blue color and an icon we can easily find. All right, let's dive into our base. When you create a new base, it's always important to think about the structure first. In case of our to-do list, I really like the name column because of course every to-do needs a name. And I also like the notes column because that really helps us to add everything we need to remember about a to-do and keep it neatly stored besides the name of our to-do. But in this case, I don't really need an attachment, so I can right-click it and delete field. But of course, I need some other fields in my to-do list, like a due date, for example. So I click Add a new column, give it due date. And of course, I want to have another field type here. And I click Date, therefore, click Save here. Besides the due date, I also want to have a completed field. So I'll add another column and name it Completed. Okay, and I'll also change the field type to checkbox. You can change the style of your check mark here, but in this case, I really like the green one. So I'll stick with it. Okay, so now we have completed and let's think about it. Maybe we need a priority status. That would be also interesting to have. So I'll add priority and then I'll have a single select here because I always want to use one priority. So I'll add an option like uh, urgent and maybe another one which is called medium and another one which is called no priority. The cool thing about Airtable is you can also customize the color of these fields. So for example, I give urgent a red color here, medium a yellow color, and no priority can be grayed because it's not that important. I click save. Okay, so now I have all the fields I want to use in this table. The only thing I have to do now is to change the order because first after my to-do name, I want to see if it's completed. So I'll just drag and drop my completed field over there. Next is due date. And afterwards, I think priority is more important than notes because I don't want to have notes for every to-do. So it's the least important one and I'll just put it to the end. I can also um, add some space here that I can see all the names of my to-dos. All right. So now we are done with the structure of the table. But of course, to enter new to-dos, this is a pretty boring view. And uh, I would like to have a form instead that I can easily fill out with new to-dos. In order to add our input form, we go to the Views tab here, click uh, there where we have Grid View, and we will add a form view. And we can also call it to-do input form that we know what we have here. Now we can easily customize our form and Airtable is great with this uh, visual form builder. We can start uh, putting them together by adding a cover image. So we click add a cover image and now you can just drag and drop any file from your PC. Prepared one here. I'll just click upload and then it'll take a second. And perfect. It's quickly loading and then we got it here. All right. So then we can go through the fields and see what makes sense and what doesn't. For example, the name field is alright, and as soon as you click it, you can also set it as uh, required, which we should do because, of course, in our to-do list, uh, the to-do should be named. We don't need the completed check mark because, of course, if we enter the to-do, it won't be completed. So, therefore, we can click it again and just click hide field here. Now you can see that it's over there in the hidden fields list, and if you notice that you want to have it back in your table, you can easily drag and drop it back in. And so we don't need it, so I'll just hide it in this case. Due date is fine, we will need it, and we'll also set it to required. 
We will also need a priority. And the cool thing about the select fields is that you can specify if you want to have a drop down or if you want to have a list. I recommend if you have just a few items, then always select the list because it saves you one click. You can directly click on urgent, medium, or no priority. Well, when using the drop down, you have to click the arrow first and then find the option you want to use. So, therefore, we select the list in this case. And lastly, we'll have the notes and we will leave them there. Okay. What's also important is to go down there to the options. And uh, there we will check show uh, submit another response button because if we want to upload more than one to do, then it's always great to have this button there. And we can also show a new blank form after five seconds which is also helpful in this case. All right, that's it and our to-do form is ready. Now, of course, we want to see how it looks like. So we can click open form here, loads for a second, and then we can now see our newly created form. And I think it looks pretty good. Now we can start adding our to-dos. So my first to-do would be walk the dog. Needs to be completed uh, today. And it's pretty urgent. I heard him barking already. All right, we don't need any notes, so I'll click Submit. And you can already see the button we just checked. And uh, we can use this button or just wait for five seconds till another input form will load. All right, here we are. So now we can add our second to-do. For example, um, upload the Airtable tutorial. OK. We will do that uh, probably tomorrow as a medium or urgency and we don't need to add any notes there. So I'll click submit again. All right, that's that. And I'll click submit another response for a third one. And um, there I can just write, uh, write an email to my boss. Okay, that's due maybe on Monday next week and um, it has a medium priority and uh, I'll click submit again. All right, now we have uh, three to-dos in our list and probably we want to see our to-do list at some point. So I'll just go back to the table here. I'll change the view back to grid view and voila, here we have our to-dos. We can clean out the first three rows there these are always the demo rows and we have to delete them manually. Okay, so now we have all our to-dos here and uh, there's one last step to do before our to-do list is ready to use. In this case, with uh, only three to-dos, it's pretty easy and we can see that uh, Walk the Dog is the most urgent to-do. But it's not always that easy and you will have more and more to-dos in your list over time. So we can use the group feature and therefore I click group and pick a field to group by and I'll select priority, okay? And now you can see that it's already uh, way easier to see uh, which is the most urgent to do and which to do's come afterwards. And another useful thing is uh, to sort the to do's by uh, due date. So I click sort, pick a field, due date, okay? And now I will always have the most recently due field at the top. So for example, if I change the upload Airtable tutorial to the 11th there, then you will see that it, it swaps these two around. So that's also a pretty neat feature of Airtable. And one last thing that is here to do, in case we completed one of our to-dos, for example, we wrote an email to the boss, then I'll check that. But of course, then I don't want to see it in my list again because it's already done and I need to think about it anymore. So I'll use the filter function here. I'll add a filter and I'll select only to do's where the completed is not checked. Okay, so now you can see that it's filtered and that we only see the to do's that are still due. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in case you liked this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also check out my brand new webpage at automatorshq.com. See you there in a bit. Bye.